what shall the DIY be? Stay tuned and find out. Hey, you guys, so I've not forgotten that we are supposed to be doing some polymer clay jewelry today, but what we're going to do is a mystery earring. I bought this super fun paint that I didn't even know existed. You probably already knew all about it, but it's like all these funky colors and it's like candy paint. So like you've seen the candy paint cars that when they go by, they change colors um, and they have like all these iridescent colors that go from light to dark, like an ombre, but real sparkly. So I bought some paint like that. We're going to do a mystery period earrings and see how they turn out and by mystery means i'm not telling you what it is because i don't know what it is so it's going to be a mystery to us so let's get started so hey you guys guess what we're doing today a mystery earring diy so i know we are going to be doing a clay project as well so calm down everyone right that's coming as well but i wanted to do a mystery earring i know that this is backwards so no worries for those that'll be like hey your words are backwards yes i'm aware so we're going to be doing a mystery earring because i was able to find the coolest paint at hobby lobby that i didn't need but i never met a paint that didn't love me and i didn't love it back so i decided that we're going to do a mystery earring with that paint so you're going to need just your wooden pieces like you normally would um, for making earrings, you can do any shapes and sizes that you want. I'm interested in a round pair of earrings, so I'm gonna pull out some circles. I also decided with this mystery earring with one of the pairs, we're gonna be using our wood burner. My wood burner is from Walnut Hollow. I got it at Michael's, it's plugged in. That's why I didn't bring it all the way over. I think it's plugged, oh, it's not on, so we should be good to bring it over. Let me just try, it's still plugged in though. So Walnut Hollow, it comes with three tips. You've already seen that if you've watched any of my other videos on wood burning. If not, um, you can look at my statement earring playlist. There's a plethora, it's probably a, close to a hundred videos on there. But I wanna share with you the paint that I was, oh, what else you're gonna need? You're gonna need some jewelry pliers, of course, to make your earrings. You're gonna need your earring findings. Um, your jump rings, your ear wires, and all that jazz. Unless you want to do pierced earrings, you can do that as well. So, <clears throat> I think I, sh oh, I didn't show this yet, but anyway. So, remember I was telling you that my 15-year-old is an incredible artist in her own right. So, because we use a lot of the white and buttermilk colored paint, I bought some larger size of that, sizes of that when I went to Hobby Lobby. This one was $4.99. And this one was $5.99. They're probably just the same. I don't even know why one was higher than the other one. Other than the fact that this is a satin paint and it's called Cotton Ball. How cute is that name, right? So anyway, I got some of that. I got some liquid gold leaf, but I think I didn't get the color I wanted. I wanted that color right there, whatever that is. I think that's the rose gold. That's what I meant to get, but I didn't. I ended up getting the gold. This was $7.99. So anyway, we're gonna use this to put on edges of stuff. So I'll have to go back and get the rose gold color. Now y'all know Hobby Lobby is no longer doing coupons. They're saying that their products are priced affordably. That's debatable, right? <laughs> but hey, do you Hobby Lobby? I know because during the pandemic, so many things have gone up because my husband was sharing with me, and this is just a random fact, right? But that manufacturing costs went up for almost everything. And so now the manufacturers are passing those costs off to you and I as the consumer. So that's why we don't see the 50% off coupons, the 40% off coupons. They're passing off their losses to us by way of just making us pay the regular price, which is fine. I mean, if we're still going to make jewelry, right? We're still going to make crafts and they know that. So I also got another thing of E6000 glue because, you know, more glue is better than more glue <laughs> so these are the mystery paints that we're going to be using i'm going to go mix them up off camera so you're not watching my arm go up and down but they are called dragonfly glaze i was so excited and so i'm going to show you what the end of them look like so they're like a candy paint right so dragonfly glaze and so it it does that um change of color like a candy paint car would see you know how you see those cars going by well, at least in the south right and the um, paint shifts different colors and it's all glittery and everything so this one is called violet blue green shift so it's color shifting paint super excited to be trying this i think i saw this before on somebody else's page a page a year or so ago this one is gold red and violet shift so that's going to be really pretty excited to try that that's why I'm calling them mystery earrings because I've never used this before so I don't know what it's gonna look like and I don't know how thick it is either we're gonna find that together and this one is called full spectrum shift so it says it's a full spectrum of color so notice the band across the top 
And I wanna say there were a few more colors, but I just went with the ones that spoke to me and called out my name. So that's what we're gonna use for our mystery earrings today. And then of course, you're gonna need some, pl some plates or a paint palette and you're gonna need your brushes. And I'm just gonna be using random, just flat acrylic brush. I don't like natural hair brush bristles. I think I've shared that before because the bristles come out and they get all in your design and that is a little challenging and annoying. So we're gonna use circle bases and we're gonna use our brush and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go cut the wood burner on because I wanna see how it looks, um, the wood burning burnt earring with the candy paint paint or the shifting color paint. What is it, what's it called again? The color changing full spectrum shift paint. And it says it has, let me tell you what else it says. It says that it's an acrylic paint it's a color changing top coat with a gloss finish. So when we open it up, we'll see what it looks like. So if it's clear and we need to put a color base on it, then we'll do that using some different color paints. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just using my X-Acto knife to get the plastic off of here. Of course, do that away from yourself. That could be quite dangerous, right? And then I'm gonna squeeze them out on the plate to just see what they look like because if they're just a clear top coat, then of course I'll know that I need a, um, a base color. And then I just turned on the wood burner so it's not ready yet. And I'm gonna start with a pair of teardrop earrings because it's one of my favorite shapes. I wish that, um, they're super cute. They're kind of blending into the plate because of the brightness of the light. but. Um, this shape and so that was a bag and I just poured it into the Ziploc bag with all the others but I made some Christmas earrings using these and we had done some smaller ones as well so that was kind of close to the camera so those are cute and then I was hoping I had some larger circles but I think this is the largest pair of circles I have right now so I'm going to start with the teardrops and then we also have this oblong shape, which is probably my least favorite, but um, what we could do and what I did in another earring video was we combined shapes. So like if you ever wanna change the shape of your earrings or do something different, you could always glue a piece, glue a base, and then you completely change the shape of the earring if you don't like it. Um, you could always add circles and shift things around. So I've done that before in a video. So you can always mix and match all your pieces and do different things with them. So in case you don't love the shapes that you have exactly, you can make up stuff. And then of course my other favorite shapes are the squares. And I always like to turn them on their side. So they become, is that a trapezoid? Honey, is that a trapezoid? It's a turned around rectangle. So anyway, <laughs> I don't think this is a trapezoid. I don't know what that's called. I have to go look that up, but it's a diamond shape. So we turn that on its side and those are my favorites too. So onward and upward, I digress. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna shape these one more time. And then I'm gonna use the plate we already had to squeeze these out and see what they look like. So that way I'm not dirtying up the plate we're gonna paint on. The only reason I didn't use this one was because um, it had writing on it and I wasn't sure if that was gonna come off or not. So there's this little piece in here. So it looks like it's white, like a white iridescent. Ow. I just touched the um, wood burner by accident. And so this one is gonna be the spectrum. So let's see if they all look the same on the inside but they each have these little white protective sheets in here. And I don't have any fingernails. Yeah, so they all look the same on the inside. This is truly a mystery, isn't it? So it looks like we may have to paint it a base color and then put the candy paint on, I'm trying to get that off my finger, and then put the candy paint on to get the colors that are on here. But I noticed that that one is more of a, um, a green and a purple and a blue, who on the, blue hue on the inside. 
versus the other one look more white. So let's see about this one. And so that one has like hues of pink and orange and um, the gold colors that are on the outside. So let's see what color we have to paint the base in order for it to show up. Go wash this stuff off my hands and be right back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wood burn uh -oh, the pair of earrings that we have out now. And after that, then we're gonna put some paint on there because remember the last time we did the paint first and then the wood burning, it didn't really show all the way through. These things always make me nervous. So we're gonna put the safety back on that, put that thing up. I don't even use it. I don't even know where I got it from. So we're going to, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna probably start with a cream colored base. So let's bring our wood burner over here. Now you could draw out a design if you wanted to. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. And in drawing out the design, you just want to make sure they're even and match them up. And you want to use the smooth side. Cause see, you can kind of tell that that's the back because you can see the ridge or the edge. And then the front is the smooth side. So I'm just going to do straight lines on the earring. And I turned them sideways so I can do my best to try to match them up. And just keep in mind the wood burner is going to do what the wood burner wants to do because it's going to follow the grain in the wood. It's not going to necessarily follow, you know, your hand or the direction that you want it to go. Since it's kind of looking like a leaf design, I'm just going to go with that. And if you hold it like too in, too much into the wood, like you're trying to use it like a pen or a pencil, it's going to dig into the wood. So let's try to match this one up as best we can. So I can tell that this piece of wood is a little bit smoother because it's um, traveling along the wood a little bit easier than the other one. And you can go back over it, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna go in the same direction that you want it to. And of course, watch your fingers. I don't think it'll be very forgiving <laughs> in terms of if you burn yourself. So that's how it came out and I like it. So now I want to go along the edges because I'm going to use that gold leaf that I didn't open up to paint along the edges, but I just want to give the edges of this like a smoky look. Kind of like a singed effect. And I'm really just touching it with the side. And I don't know if you can see the heat coming off of it, but it's pretty hot, but it does not function like a pen, like you would want it to or think that it would. And then what we're gonna do with these is we're, with the paint, we're gonna make it like a wash. And the reason I decided to do a mystery pair of earrings is I don't know, I just was in the mood to use the wood burner before I started with the clay. Cause I knew it would give me some sort of instant gratification. And I like instant gratification jewelry. Yes, yeah, so you have to be careful cause see how I got a little a notch right there. Cause the heat in this thing is not even. And because the wood has grains in it, 
it'll get it'll catch it on the um it'll catch it on the wood on the the piece of um wood finding that we're using for the jewelry Cool. So, I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna go over this one one more time, just so, just a little darker on the edge. So, if you wanted, you could burn notches and stuff. You could do so many different things. Cause remember, I told you I wanted to do some um, leather wristlets or bracelets, but I haven't done that yet. Because I don't think those would be as forgiving if you mess them up. I mean, because once you burn the leather, that's it. <laughs> right? So, that's a little intimidating to me. It's like, what if it doesn't come out right? Which I guess it doesn't matter. Art is subjective. Art is art. So, I'm just getting a little um, burnt edges off. And so, what we're going to do is I want this to be like a wash. Because, again, I don't know what the candy paint is going to look like. And because of that... Sorry about that. I guess I will go ahead and dirty this up. But I'm just gonna use this little section right here. But because I don't know what the candy paint colors are gonna look like, I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna paint the whole thing and cover up the, the wood burning that we did. So what I wanna do is like I said, just give it a wash. So I really don't have to use a brush to do that, but I don't wanna cover up my lines. So I'm just gonna use the brush to go in between the lines. Like that. And you could do like a white wash. You could do like a really pretty blue since it looks like a leaf. I mean, you could do a green and you could kind of do like ombre colors in here. I mean, it's your design, you can do what you want. And so I don't want it to really look painted, so I'm just gonna take my finger and wash it off that way. Right, because I just wanna wash. just want it to be a wash that way and so let me put a little bit more on the ends so the next one we're just going to do the same thing we're just going to put a little bit of paint in between there and I think these would be really pretty if you did like light pinks light blues like purple light green I might do that on the round pair that we do next And I don't want to cover up all that, um, the wood burning that we did. So again, I just want to get some paint on there and then I want it to be like a wash. Like it just looks like it's been in the woods and like it's just kind of woodsy. So it dries really quickly too when we're doing something like that. Doesn't need a whole bunch of drying time. And then of course, I'm probably gonna put a light, um, like a light varnish over it after we finish putting the candy paint colors and stuff on it. So those are pretty much dry. I mean, cause all we did was a little wash to them. So I like the rustic feel of them. That's what I'm going for with this pair of earrings. It's just something rustic, you can wear them dressed up or down. And now we're gonna try the candy paint and we're gonna go with the one that does the gold, red, and violet shift. 
So we're going to start with this one first and see how that looks. I'm going to rinse my brush off. I'll be right back. So let's go ahead to let's open up. This is um, Treasure Gold Water Base Non-Toxic Brilliant Metallic Luster. It says it gives superior coverage, multi-surface formula, a gloss sheen, and this is by Folk Art. So this is our liquid gold. And again, the rose gold one was the one now in hindsight that I think I genuinely wanted, but I couldn't decide. So I was like, okay, let me just get the gold in case I'm not sure. But this is like, looks like an old gold. Oh, it's really pretty though. I mean, I don't regret this one, but I do think I wanted the, um, I wanted the rose gold, but that's really pretty. So we're going to do the edges in gold. So let's cover that up. So let's see what this comes out looking like when we put it on. Because again, I've never used it before. Hence, mystery earring. And then we'll have to let it dry to see what it comes out looking like once it dries. Oh, you can see it right away, okay. So I'm just painting it on here and I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. I'm not sure if you can see the shimmer right away. I'm gonna have to do the lighting a little better. Let me put the other coat on and then we'll figure out this lighting so you can see it. It almost looks pearly. So let me turn the camera around so you can see it. And then we'll also see if we need one or two coats. Okay, so as it's drying, you can see like the little color shifts in there. But by it still being wet, it's harder to see. I can see it really well on my side, but it's not showing up so great on the camera. But it has like a orange, gold, Kind of violet hue to it almost like there's glitter in the paint so it's not showing up so there's a little bit of it so let's see what it looks like after it dries and we put another coat on there let's see how you can see it that way so let's let it dry and then i'm gonna do like you can see it really well right there so i'm gonna do another coat but let's let this first coat dry and see what it ends up looking like okay you guys so it's still drying and so the iridescence is starting to get brighter now that they're drying. And so I'm still letting them dry. And so I went on and did, so you can see it shifting right there, but it's, they're really pretty. So I went on and did a little piece that we're gonna use as the swing part of the earring that goes on the ear. So I went on and did like a whitewash on these and then I re um, touched up the lines with the wood burner. I was able to go over it while it was drying. So I'm gonna do one more little bit of white paint in between there. And then we're gonna put the candy paint, I keep calling it candy paint, but shifting paint on here as well and let those dry. And then we're gonna get another pair made. So I'm just gonna go in here and I already show you how we wipe that off. And I don't wanna wipe it off so vigorously because these are smaller because I want to have the white paint or the buttermilk colored paint showing. So what I could use <laughs> is a smaller brush, just to wipe it off that way. And so you just keep messing with it Sorry about that. So you get it like you want it. And it just has that bit of a wash on it. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one off camera and then we're gonna burn the next pair while these dry. And I'm still trying to decide if I wanna go back in and add some more washes of color on there. If I wanna leave those plain, I kinda like them how they are plain. And then we're gonna do the ends or the ridges of them. The edgings, we're gonna do that in gold. So let me go ahead and put the a little bit of more paint on this one. 
and we're gonna put the top coat on these. And I do notice that that shifting paint, it doesn't dry quickly. Cause I had time to pull these out, burn them, come back on camera and they're still wet with the shifting paint. So just FYI, that's not something that dries quickly. Looks like it might take like 30 minutes to an hour. So we'll be right back. Oh, I forgot to mention too. So what I did after I did the wash with my fingers on the paint, I used my little pointy tool and I just went back in and I dug the white paint out the ridges. Cause again, I don't care. I want these to look rustic. So I dug the paint out the ridges so that the wood burn part would show. So now we're gonna put the shifting paint on there and go to the next pair. So you guys, all this time I thought the video was on when I had made these pieces, but I'm gonna show you how I just made little divots in the wood using the chisel tip. I don't know what happened to the recording a second ago. That's so weird. I don't know, I must've hit the button by accident or either I got a phone call. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put these earrings, they're gonna hang like this. They're gonna be really cute. And we're gonna use the dragonfly glaze in like the purple and teal iridescent color. So we're gonna see what that comes out looking like. So I'm gonna paint these bases with like a beachy blue, like a robin's egg kind of blue color. And so I'm gonna try not to burn myself, pray saints, right? So I'm gonna use the end of my pointed tool and I'm just gonna burn a similar pattern to match that one into the wood. And remember, I um I learned how to wood burn one day just from watching a quick video by someone on YouTube. And they said that getting burnt by this is similar to getting burnt with a cigarette lighter. I have not ever smoked cigarettes, but I can imagine that a cigarette lighter would burn because it gets really red hot. I mean, I don't, they don't even, do they even make cars anymore with cigarette lighters in it? But it's the equivalent of being burned like that. So we started with a little cross design and now I'm just gonna use the edge of the tool to make little indentions. So it matches up with the earring base, like with the larger piece. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. And y'all, it smells so good. It smells like new construction. I think I said that a second ago, but I'm not sure if it was recording when I said that. So one more over here, just cause it's so light. Let me just go over that one more time. Just wanna put a little bit of heat to that so it's not so light over here. Look how cute. Wouldn't this make the cutest little post earring? So look how they're gonna match up. So they're gonna be really pretty together. And so we're just gonna do the, the same little divots over here using the chisel point of the tool. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but a little orange ember came off there. And be really careful when you're using your wood burner. And again, we're just using the chisel tip to make divots. I'm just being quiet because I'm focused on not burning myself. <laughs> so, and I want to just put the, the tool a little close to there so it gets a little bit of that heat color on there. So it's not so light white. How cute is that? So those would just make really adorable post earrings. So if you just want a small pair of textured earrings, those are really sweet. And so I've normally not done the back when we do designs. So let's do a little something on the back. I'm just gonna put some marks back there. So that way, you know, the ear, the back of the earring looks as pretty as the front, or at least, you know, has a texture design to it. Cause why not? So I'm just putting divots all over the place, just so the back has a design. So that way when people see the back of your earring and it's swinging, it looks really pretty.
and I'm just not I'm just randomly placing lines and the smell is just so yummy so that's just so your backs look as pretty as your fronts and you don't have to do this I mean, you could just paint these or you could leave them plain in the back or you could just put like a glaze on them. And then the one thing I wish I would have done with the other pair, we just put the um, shape shifting paint on is I wish I would have drilled the holes already. But so now what we could do is just we could just come over it with the um, Sorry, I'm off screen. We could just go over it and get kind of close to it with the wood burning tool just to put a little bit of smoky color to it. My phone was trying to die. So just to put some heat to it, you're just running it over that way. And then it's just, see how it's just putting a little bit of that burnt color on there? That's how you can add color to it so it doesn't stay so white. Like, see how that side is? Or so cream colored. You're just gonna smoke it up a little bit. I love this tool. So these are our mystery earrings because we don't really know, you know, what we're making. We're just doing something. And then we're gonna get to our polymer clay project. I'm trying to buy time to figure out what I'm gonna do with that too. <laughs> So, you got to go get a wood burner if you don't have one. Um, because the fun part about using all these different tools and doing all these different things is there's nothing wrong with people copying your work. Imitation is the highest form of compliment. I don't care about stuff like that. Um, but people won't be able to, right? Unless they're gonna have the patience to do the same thing you're doing. But the designs are still not gonna be the same because none of this wood is the same. None of the grains are the same. You know what I mean? So there's no way that they're gonna be able to copy your work. So those are gonna be really cool. Let's do the same thing with the little pieces. Just be careful here. Whew, I did too much there. I got that one too smoky. So we're gonna match it up over here. I just love that though. I just love how the wood just, it does its own thing. It's not, you're not gonna tell the wood what to do. And isn't fire like that? Like who knew that fire has, controls weather, right? Inside of a firestorm, it's controlling the weather. It can create rain, it can create hail, it can create thunderstorms. That is the craziest thing to me. I have some clients that were moving from California and they shared that with me, that wa that fire controls the atmosphere. That is just crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm I'm being um, obsessive now, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. Okay, so really cute. I'm gonna go and get the paint so we can put the wash on these. I'm probably gonna go ahead and drill the holes so they'll already be in there. You already know that I use a Dremel light um, handheld drill. That thing is, is invaluable to me but you can put holes in your jewelry any way that you want to. That's what I choose to use. I'll be right back. Okay, so with this one, I'm probably not gonna initially dig out all the, um, the wash. I'm gonna use a little bit of water to thin the paint out. So it is just a wash. But what we wanna do is make sure we get all the little burnt shrillings of wood off of everything. And I didn't yet drill the holes because I'm like, let's, I'll just do that afterwards. So we're going to use, this is Americana Deco Art Sea Breeze, my favorite color in the whole world. You've never heard me say that before, right? <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna wet my paint a little bit and put a little bit of water in here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not sure how smart it is of me to use this little thing to put water in, but so then... I took it and I'm just dotting it in the paint so it's real liquidy. And let's see what it's gonna look like. I'm not sure, right? So, I think I did way too much water on that. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the whole thing. And then we're gonna wipe a lot of it off, right? 
Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I like that. Pretty. So that's our wash. It looks indigenous to me, like tribal. And so now we're just gonna wipe it all off. Cause we don't wanna give it time to dry on the design. We just wanna wash a paint. Look how pretty those are gonna be. So I like that. So now we're gonna do it to the little pieces as well. Just wiping it off. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see them too in a second. They almost look like snowflakes too, so tribal or snowflakeish. You say tomato, I say tomato, right? <laughs> so look how sweet. Those are pretty. So that's what they're gonna look like. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit for a minute. And then we're gonna use this one, which is the blue iridescent color. And this is called Violet Blue Green Shift. And we're gonna put it on these to see what they look like when their color shifts after they dry. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'll be right back. And then we're gonna edge everything out in gold. I really should have edged it out like in a silver, but we don't have a silver, but we're gonna edge everything out in the gold. Okay, so let's go ahead now. We're gonna put a little bit of this out on the plate. I'm gonna put it on the opposite side so I don't accidentally scoop up the, um, the other iridescent one. And so look, it just looks really plain white, just like the other one. See how many coats it'll need. I wish I could get the lighting better where you could see it. I mean, because it's almost like you can see it immediately that it has like some glitter shift into it. But let's let it dry and see what happens. So we're gonna get the coat on there. And then I'm gonna go through and use the pointed tool to make the lines show back up because I want the lines to show. I want them to be distinct. I did that on the last pair as well. So you don't have to if you don't want your lines to be distinct, but I don't want the lines to be completely covered up by paint. I want, them, I want it to have a textured look and feel to it. And I wanna do that while it's wet. So you can see it's really pretty. I'm not sure I'm in love with it, but it's pretty. So let's use our pointed tool. I'm just gonna go through. And I'm just gonna dig the paint out of the ridges. Now you will put some lines in your design by accident, like in the paint you just put on there, but it, it doesn't matter. I mean, I want this to have texture. They're probably not going to show in the paint anyway once it dries the um, lines that you accidentally make, but I want to make sure that the wood burning lines show. So I'm just going in there with this pointy tool and I'm just digging out the, um, the paint that was in there. I'm going to show it to you in a second. And I love that look because I love how it gives it dimension and the, um, the shift paint is really pretty. I'm hoping that I'll be able to show it to you in a better light. Now you again, you don't have to do this. I'm just choosing to because I want my lines to show. I want my wood burns to show, I should say.
So I am still gonna need another coat on there. So I'm moving that trashy stuff out of the way. But look, so you can see it, that's pretty. So I'm not gonna bore you with this. Let me go take this stuff out the line. Okay, so look how pretty that one is. So we're gonna let that dry and I'm just gonna clean out the lip. Y'all, sorry, my husband is making breakfast over there. <laughs> Brunch, I should say. I said I wasn't gonna bore you with this one, but hey, come on, you're fine. Hang out for a few more minutes. And we're gonna let these dry. Cute, last one. And I'm gonna sit these on the dryer with the other earrings. So initially what I had in mind with the clay is I wanted to do a trinket dish, like where you put your rings and your jewelry and stuff. And then I thought about a pair of earrings, but there's so many clay earrings, I hadn't decided. Um, I do have the color in mind that I'm interested in using, and I'll show you that right quick. So I'm interested in this color, this one, and I'm interested in this one, but I'm not yet sure what I'm gonna make. So, well, and, I need a bigger hand. <laughs> no, I don't, right? Another hand. And then that one's pretty. And that one's pretty. So those colors keep calling my name for the upcoming project, but I'm not sure what we're gonna make yet. But I wanna do something like trinket dish wise, like something that's usable. So let's go let these dry and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this pair of earrings I'm gonna do in black and we're gonna use the full spectrum shift and we're going to see what that's going to look like on an all black pair of earrings i wonder if i should do all white hmm decisions decisions let's do white since i already have white paint on the table okay so i'm going to shake this up put this on there and we will be right back also i'm not going to use the wood burner okay okay so i already shared with you this color is called cotton ball so we're gonna paint on the white side of the heart, going with the green. Sorry about that, I felt like I was out of. So we're painting going with the green. And I got these from Michaels, I have so many of these. I have some like this that are larger too with holes already in them which I don't necessarily care for, but if you don't have a drill, those are good to get too, because then you don't have to put a hole in them. What I like about the um, Deco Art Americana Set and Finish Paint, it has a nice coverage. Like even though I'm gonna give, put two coats on here, it's a really great coat already. So I like that. So now, it's tough to figure out the front and the back on this one, but I'm gonna go with this side. Yeah, let's do that. And then we're gonna paint with the grain, so this grain seems to be going downward. So we're gonna do that. Now our second coat, I may go a different direction, but I just wanna paint with the grain so it doesn't look all weird. And the edges of these, we're gonna do in the gold as well. And I definitely want a couple of coats of this, and I got this kind of paint, because remember I had that white paint the last time where Miriam used all that up, thank God. Um, Cause I wasn't a fan of that particular brand. It cracks, whatever, I can't remember what it was. I had gotten it when um, AC Moore was going out of business. So look how pretty, that's gonna be a really pretty um, pair of earrings. And what I'm gonna love about it, I'm sure, is guys, that- Okay, we're gonna fade the black. Worst earring tutorial ever, worst products ever. They are going back to the store. I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. I was like, okay, you know, paint, a little bit of paint, some wood burning, we can make anything look good, right? Not, they are horrible. I throw them in the trash. So I should have just stuck with the polymer clay project, which we're gonna have coming up. And I'm gonna get to work on that because these earrings were a bust. Literally, I don't know the last time, if ever I have thrown earrings or a project 
in the trash and I seriously could not stand the fact that I had to throw away great wood bases oh my gosh and the time it took to do it right that I can't get back <laughs> just kidding but those things were horrible do not buy that paint I'm like I expected it to be something different so anyway it is in the bag over there on the rail heading back to the store for a refund tomorrow so coming up next the polymer clay project I should have just done anyway sorry you guys epic fail